So I was serving in a city called Debrecen, and it was, I believe, in September of last year. And my, I had just gotten to the city, and I was with uh, my new companion, and we were sister training leaders at the time. We had just become companions to be sister training leaders, and it was really neat because I hadn't served with someone who was older than me in the mission for, for quite a while. Um, but we were enjoying being companions, and one day after... I believe it was after lunch or so, or perhaps it was in the morning. It had been raining. It had been raining that morning, and and we had planned to go outside to go street contacting. And and so my companion was like, well, maybe we should just stay inside and do some area book work. Maybe it would be more, more efficient because we looked outside and we didn't really see many people. But I remember just feeling like you know what, if we go out, we'll find someone. And maybe I was just trying to convince myself that, you know, if we go out there, we will find someone. But I also, I also felt that. I also felt like, okay, we, we need, we need to be out there. Let's just go. And, and I felt that the Lord would bless us for going out even while it was raining cats and dogs. And so we decided to go out and we'd been walking and looking for people to talk to. And we really hadn't found very many people. Um, but then we were, we were walking around um, this one kind of foresty area, and there was this cute young girl. She had short red hair, and she was beautiful. And she was walking with this guy, and my companion just immediately went toward her. And so I just, I was like, yeah, okay, we should talk to her. But it was just so, it was just so deliberate. Like, I'm going to talk to this girl. And so I went with her and my companion started talking to her and we found out, you know, that she was a hairdresser and, and we just kind of chit chatted for a minute. And then my companion actually did most of the talk. She did most of the talking and just, and just, you know, told her we believed that we'd love to meet with her sometime. And, and so she said, Oh, okay. So we got her number and, and I didn't think too much of it. Cause a lot of times you get people's numbers, but it doesn't really work out or you set up to meet with them and it doesn't necessarily work out. And so I, I didn't think, you know, too much of it. My companion was so excited about it. And she said, okay, yeah, we're going to meet with this girl. And she told me later that about a month or so previously, she had been out on the street with her companion before I got there. And she had seen that same girl on the street, the girl with the red hair. And she said that she felt so strongly that she needed to talk to her and she didn't. And so she passed her and she said that her face stayed with her for weeks and weeks. And she said, she, you know, she prayed and just said, you know, Heavenly Father, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't talk to her, you know, please give me another chance. And so, you know, little did we know that day when it was raining outside that we would go and see this girl again, that this would be her second chance. And so we set up to meet with her and we kept meeting with her. And it was, it was the neatest thing because in this girl, she was about our age. She was a cute hairdresser, super young and hip and everything. Just honestly, one of the coolest people that I met in Hungary. She was just awesome. She had told us that first time we met, you know, I've been feeling like I've been needing to read the Bible, but I don't know why, you know, I'm not very religious. Um, and and so, you know, we told her, well, maybe this is why, maybe we're supposed to meet. And in the, the following months, I saw in her just this real conversion. I can't even explain it. We just, she would come to us with her questions and with her concerns and everything. Um, but I, I just saw in her this real conversion and it was such a special thing. And she is someone that I will just love forever. Uh, cause I feel like she taught me so much and I feel like with, you know, with all these stories, there's just this commonality of, you know, we didn't know at the time of going out on that rainy day that we were going to run into this, you know, to this girl that my companion was going to get her second chance to talk with her. Um, but I think that's just, it just shows the importance of, of listening to the spirit, or even if you don't recognize it as the spirit of just feeling like, you know what, this is what we should do. And just, just going on. It's a good thing. We should go try to talk to people. It's a good thing. Um, and this girl also ended up being baptized and, and I just saw in her such, such real conversion, such light. And it was just the neatest thing 
to be able to, to know her and to, to teach her and to be taught by her as well through the process. And so I just know that the Lord had his plan for her and that we were able to be a part of it as unassuming as we were on that day when we went out in the rain to go try to talk to people.